You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principles of tangency. Now, like I always tell you, locate a center that you know is really a center. Like I'm using this point here, right? So how will I get that? I am going to draw my horizontal line this way using my center line to denote that. So we have the long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Let me just do it that way. And I'll pick a point. Let's say this point I'm picking. Right? I'll have long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So this center you see is the center you're seeing at the right hand side of the screen. Now the radius there is given to be 12, right? So I'm going to take my compass, this compass you see here, right? I'll take this compass and I'll measure 12. So from 0 to, this is 10, 11, 12 here. And I'll place it at this point. Then I'll draw a circle this way. Faint line. Hope you can see that. So let me zoom it up more. So you're going to understand what I'm trying to pass to you. Now, aside that, the next thing that we have here is the distance from this center to the next center, and that is what 40. So I'm going to measure 40 from this center from 0 to what to 4 is 40. Then I'll draw my center line across that point. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, and long. Can you see that? So that next point, let me call the point there you see. Let me call it point. This is point A. And let me call it the what? Point B. Are we communicating? So aside that, the next thing that we'll be doing here will be there's another circle here that forms this arc. Had any circle look at, let me complete it. There's a circle there, even though it's not completed. And that circle has a radius of what 12. So, meaning that these two circles here, this is 12. All right, let me just put it there. And this also here is what is 12. So, I'm going to draw another circle of 12. Am I communicating? Now, aside that, there's a line that is tangential to this point here. So I'm going to draw the tangential line. You can see that line, a straight line, meeting from this point straight down to the next point. Hope you can see that as the tangential line. Now, what do you notice? There's an arc that is connecting this bigger these two circles together, right? There's an arc connecting those two bigger circles together. Connecting these two bigger circles together. Now let's see what's happening. This arc is, this circle you see here is inside, is on top of that arc. You can see, let me complete the arc. Look at this arc, bigger circle. And look at the smaller circle here. It is outside the arc. So because it is outside, you see it is external, and because of that, you are going to add the radius. So if I'm adding 12 plus 35 here, how good? That will give us 47. So I'm going to take my compass, and I'm going to measure 47. From 0 to 47 here. Can you see that? And I'll place it at the center here I'm considering. And I'll strike an arc at the side. Let me bring it down so you see what I'm trying to portray.
right? So let me show you what I'm trying to what for three. So aside that, I'll come again. I'll strike an arc here. Then the other one, look at it again. If I complete it, this other circle you see inside here, let me complete that, is inside this bigger arc. So that is what? Internal, so you subtract, right? So 35 minus um, 12. Is it 35? Yes. Minus 12, that will give us um, 23. So I'm going to measure 23 on my meter rule from 0 to what? 23. 23 can you see that and I'll place it here and I'll strike another arc here so let me make this one meet this here so it is meeting it here I can easily just let me zoom it up a little bit so we'll know where we are heading to. So that hack is meeting at this point. So from this point here, I'm going to place my compass here. Right? So I can tick in that. So let me tick in that so you see what I'm talking, talking about. Can you see that? Bring it down. So the next one is here also you taking it around. So if I'm doing that, I can use my compass this way. And I'll close it up. Hope you can see that. So we successfully reproduce that figure that you can see. At the right hand side of the screen right the most important thing again you do is your dimensioning so i'll just have this the five so if you found it helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching